New developments tonight in the MySpace case that led to a local teenager's suicide. The L.A. Times reports that the U.S. Attorney's Office in L.A. may take legal action against the mother who was allegedly behind the deadly Internet hoax involving Megan Meyer. News Channel 5's Jasmine Huda has more tonight. Jasmine? Mike and Deanne, the state of Missouri may not be able to prosecute the neighbor, but it may be a different story in California. According to a report by the L.A. Times, MySpace, which is located in California, is considering itself a victim of fraud. Well, thank you. Tina Meyer dropped everything Tuesday to catch a flight to New York to appear on the Today Show. This after a surprise phone call. Almost disbelief, truly, you know, because we've been through so many things, ups and downs, ups and downs, and it was kind of like, yeah, right. The L.A. Times reports a federal grand jury in Los Angeles has begun issuing subpoenas in the Internet suicide case of Tina's daughter, 13-year-old Megan. More than a year ago, Megan hanged herself. Her parents say she was bullied by a neighborhood mother who they accused of posing as a teenage boy on MySpace.com. That mother says she knew about it, but that her daughter and an employee were behind the fake account. The L.A. Times is quoting sources in the U.S. Attorney's Office, saying they are quote, exploring the possibility of charging the neighbor with defrauding MySpace by creating the false account that she, her daughter, and another person used to communicate with Megan, according to the sources, who insisted on anonymity because they are not authorized to speak publicly about the case. With details not out in the open, Meyer is still hopeful justice will be served for her daughter. Megan was absolutely the victim, but if in the end the outcome can still be the same, then I feel that, you know, either way, however it can be done, that's what we want done. The attorney representing the neighbor did not want to comment on what he calls a rumor from an anonymous source. We contacted the U.S. Attorney's Office in L.A. who refused to confirm the article in the Los Angeles Times. Again, Tina Meyer will appear on the Today Show tomorrow morning.